Hello, uh, this video is all about Fox Body Mustang uh, gauge clusters, 80, uh, preferably 87 through 93. I have three gauge clusters here. If you need to repair yours or remove it, or if you wanted to install white face gauges, uh, the gauge thing, then uh, here's some stuff I just learned. I, I converted mine from a uh, a four cylinder tack to an eight cylinder. So, so what you can do here, and I'll show you what I got going on here. The basic three type of screws you're gonna have, right here, that's all it is. You can see that, I got a whole bunch of them. Here, here are the type of light bulbs. It's nice to go with the LEDs, but just push in there and twist. Okay, these clips right here will be important to you, and I'll show you why here. Uh, this little piece right here, real easy. It's got one uh, place right there, one attachment point, and just one of those screws that I was talking about. Okay, moving on. Uh, this is why I, I uh, had to work on mine. I fried this. Uh, this back piece, piece here, see that wire right there? I was testing everything and I had it up on my da or a steering column. I had something underneath it, but somehow or another it hit something and that's what happened to me. So it's hard to find these Fox Body Mustang uh, gauge clusters now. Some of them are almost $300 now. So I rebuilt this one. Uh, you have two types of Guess I'll show this now. Here's um, an 85 mile an hour gauge cluster. I know that's the the desirable one is 140, but I, this might be my original right here. But anyway, there's only two plugs on the back, right here. See how that's messed up too. I've messed up a couple of them. So, but anyway, the two plugs. You got this gray plug right here. goes right there. You'll hear it snap in. You hear that? If you've never taken this out, you're going to barely be able to pull it out of your dash. And you reach back there and grab these two tabs and go like that. Okay? And then you've got this brown plug. Okay? So it's this way. Same deal. Okay? There's a lot of wires, but what I want to say, if you're having problems with your Wiring in a Fox body one wire at a time here. It's gonna take you. I've been working on mine for a long time But it's coming together Okay Now here's here was my four cylinder some of the parts Okay, what the way they look here. They come apart too Okay See the speed. Uh, see, this is a six uh, grand tack here. Okay, like from a four cylinder, but still, I used. I needed this part right here. It's about fifty bucks over there. I got it in Cincinnati, no problem. Okay, back this way it looks, and see those three connection points right there. But anyway, I discarded all this. Let's see what we got here. This is something that I think could be used on either car. I'm sure it could be used on either car. Okay, now I want to show you about the needles, how to pull the needles off. And let's see, here's some right here. Okay, here's one. The needles right here, they just pull straight up. Okay. And I've got a fork out here. Somebody else, I was watching a video, and they recommended it. And you can really uh, just put a fork under there and pop that off of there. I, I put some lubricate, lubricant WD-40 or something, and that's all it is. And actually, let's see if I can put this one on here. Put it right in the middle. That's where it sat in. Remember the positions of them. They can be adjusted later, by the way. 
And let me see. It just sits right here. So I'll pop that on there. No. Well, anyway, that's the way it is. They'll snap right on there. I kind of look at it a little bit. Yeah. But anyway, that will work. Moving on around. Now here is the cluster I built. It's a 140 mile an hour. Luckily I had these, these parts. I just need, all I really needed was that part right there. Okay? So I've just been, te I've tested it a few times. Everything's looking good. 140 mile an hour. So yes, you can take the, see where was the other tag, or did they have a tag, yeah, you can take this six grand tack unit out, and if I was lucky, I had my original uh, dash cluster and just really needed that, just like I was showing you there, that wire setup back there, and by the way, this wire setup Whatever, or board, whatever you want to call it. To take this off, you have to take almost everything off. A couple things back here, but you also have to take all this front cover off. And you'll see that, uh, let me show you how they look. But this thing right here, where is it? This piece right here, they're easy to get out. I mean, it's, it's not a big deal needle nose pliers and push those out and you'll see that your new board will snap right back in place and then your gauges uh, set back you know snap down in there too so that's about all I want to bore you with go back here well, I'll show you a little more here is a let's see gauge like this I attach your gauge first you know, when you're putting it back together. I don't know what, what this is, but it'll fit right there. You got a little cover like this. Nothing to it. Here's a couple needles. Your tack and speedometer are easy to put back on. I put a little lubricant on mine. Just put them back exactly where you, like they're off. Snap back on. I fired the car up, sounded good. Looked good. I mean, uh, that's another little piece, another little piece there. I think I've showed you this, the speed armor, the back of that. So that's about it. Hope that helps somebody out. You can do it. Uh, the gauges are getting, uh, clusters are getting harder and harder to find. Uh, they're going up in price. So good luck to you. Have a great day.